Hello everyone I might be watching, I'm SummerDevil17 and welcome back with my grand story. Yeah, finally back, I'm excited. Uh, the reason I've, I've actually not been, you know, playing this game is I actually adore it. Oh, I'm stupid. Since I actually adore it is because I wanted kind of to get good at the game in the mechanics and learn like proper build to the game of what stats you should evolve first, what you should try to get in a weapon, but you know what? I decided I really enjoy this game and I, I should make a playthrough out of it without actually looking too much up, up into it. Just, you know, going through. Ashley made it through. So yeah, that was a puzzle. I wonder what's going on. Oh. Papa? What? Ghost child, no! Come back! Goddamn bats. Well, I was saying. Ow! I was saying that I thought, you know what, this game is fun, I have passed it when I got out my difficulties before, so why the heck not just do the playthrough my way, without actually needing to learn lots of stuff on how to get better at the game. I mean, I wanted to give some tips and tricks, but if anybody actually wanted to play after this, but, well, it's better if I just have fun right now and get complaints after, if I'm super bad, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I, I know some mechanics and I, I can give some tips and tricks, but still, it's not like over the weapons. I. I uh, I have no clue about that, how to really work the crafting system in this game. But yeah, we'll keep going and I'm gonna cut some of the boring stuff like... Oh, some cure some cure potions. Nice, because I don't have all my health. In the end, after you get grimoires, which basically are spells, after you use them once, you don't end up using those curve bulbs unless you're in the big of a pickle. But yeah, let's carry on. Is this a room? Yeah, here we go. Jet's about to go down. Damn, the sound is kind of creepy. So... Ah, no, I wasn't equipped! Ah, shit, you did a lot of damage there. So, you're a beast. One thing I've learned about this game is that... Well... There's... Classes of enemies, and you should basically have a weapon for each one of them. I've learned this over the course of years, and... That's basically how it goes. Well, this is a boss fight, as you can see. But, it's scary for you. Just gotta keep hitting him in the head. Don't you dare back up. Oh. It's like. Does the most damage. Oh, that sexy creep. Ah, shit. But. It might be sometimes, so. Especially if your risk gets super high. Oh! Wow. Hard, huh? I know. Super hard. Yeah, like, the way you get increased stats in this game is basically through the kitty bosses. Because, as you can see, we have a roulette! 
and it's based on luck. So we can get anything useful or anything that actually we would never use. Ooh, we got triple here. Ah, the early in the game, I guess that's not bad. I personally like. Well, maybe strength is actually more important. But yeah, remember we had the locked door back there? Well, now we have the chamomile sigil, which will then unlock it, the wine cellar. We got grimoire already, so a grimoire, as I said, it's a, an item that after you use it, you learn the spell heal. There you go. And in this case, Devil, it uses the generate, and believe it is a target spell. There. There's an insight into magic in this game. Just gonna open that chest, and I'll probably cut to the part where we get to the chamomile sigil door lock thingy. What do we have here? Delta chair, shield. But well, and it rustles tears. Well, this is not a common thing here in this area, but it's really annoying in an area that we're gonna get to a bit, a bit farther. What is going on? Sine! So this is a risk breaker. Most men complacently accept knowledge as truth. They are sheep, ruled by fear. I actually don't recall the voice I made for him, it was such a long time ago. <laughs> Sorry if it's all shambly. But you are different. Always calm, detached, a smooth flow of thought into action. Indeed, it is as if almost as if as if you are no soul. How do you do it? Body and soul are one. Yet yours are separate, like a child from the night in this storybook. Where is your soul, Louis Quaker? Is this VKP training? Or did you see something that made you shut your soul away? Show me your soul. Oh! That's too private, man! Don't, don't go into that! Oh! Okay, this memory again. What is this? <gasps> Ghost children! Ghost child! We're not a ghost anymore! So... Yes! It appears we had a family once. We're happy having a, a picnic. And they're a big old ghost. Hi, Mama. What? Oh, no, Ghost Child. I'm sorry, I do know the story. I, I just like overreacting things sometimes. You killed your beloved wife and child. What? They were slain by fallen knights, jackals. Wrong. You failed to protect your wife, your child. You failed your duty as a knight, as a husband, as a father. You killed them! Sinai! Haha, <laughs> trying to catch me actually, right? I can fly, bitch. Look outside yourself to find the truth. Or truth. What's your game? Harden! <gasps> Melrose! Ashley! Yes. Melrose! <laughs> Pay no heed to me. Take them, Riot! The city of Shale will forgive your sins, my son. 
and call forth a power, a power that lies within you even now. This is my game. I run, you give chase, I am the heart and you the hunter. But his heart has laid a few snares of his own. I am waiting for you, Risk Breaker. Oh, oh, Sydney! No, Melrose! Damn! <laughs> Hot damn! Oh! I feel the power running through me! Actually, as described, battle abilities from his repressed memory. So, as I said. What? What is happening? I am waiting for you, Ashley Riot. So, as I was saying, before I got interrupted, Ashley gets back his repressed memories from battle. And you're able to do combos, which will then increase your risk. Which gets harder every time. So here's a cheesy thing you can do. This is a dummy. He's basically, as you can see, human type. And he has edge and physical uh, typings. I actually don't know how they're called. But what this means is, if you want to trade a weapon, train a weapon. You can equip it. For example, the Fandango we are using for killing humans. And just go to town on this bitch. He's a dummy, so you you won't die for a long time. But yeah, slowly but surely. Let's see, that was enough. Slowly but surely, you're oh fuck. Your class type will increase, your affinity, which means physical, will increase too, and your type, which means edged, since this is an ed edged weapon, will increase too, which will make your weapon stronger. Oh, no, I didn't make two fisticuffs. God damn it. Japanese controls. So, I guess I'm just be farming it a little bit. Show you a little of what might be, and still not enough. Whatever. See you in a bit. Oh wait, I forgot to show you something. We have this now. We have items, defense, and chain, which cha chain means, as I said, combo. Which you basically assign to these three buttons. The amount of additional damage equal to. There. And I'll show you how. Oh. No, I want this here. God damn it. And defense is basically the same, but only when you get attacked. So it's basically uses this ability prevents violence and anonymous, but damage. This is physical damage, but yeah. And effect damage. We have to remember which of our buttons does which, but in the end we get something like this, this, and this, and this. Oh, I was slow. But yeah, you gotta basically press it at the right time and keep on going. Oh, I can get my health back. Nice. Slowly. Uh, whatever. I'll keep on farming. See you in a bit. And he's dead! Oh my god! Jesus, that took forever. I've been grinding for a... I even upgraded my abilities! Nice, what can we get? <laughs> I've been grinding for almost 10 minutes on this. I was getting really, really bored. Reduces food MP by an amount equal to 30% of damage dealt. Mm. Get magic? No. Adds poison to attack? Adds numbness to attack? Mm. I mean, this is really good against 
mages, but I don't really think we're gonna fight them in the longest time, so, oh uh, well, ah, whatever, let's take it, there we go, now let's check the stats, it's better be good, farm for 10 minutes, oh my god, it's 36, uh, as you can see, uh, as you evolve in some classics, uh, it ends up just decreasing in another ones. So basically, we lost. I, I don't know if we lost. I, I think it's always minus five by default in evil. And then dead. Well, it's minus fourteen now. But we have thirty-six in freaking human classes and fifteen physical. And well, it just doesn't really evolve unless you put a guard on it. That's another topic we're not gonna get into for a long time. Uh, but yeah. Since this took so long, I guess I'll just end the episode here. Uh, just have to say you one more thing. Uh, uh, just as a clip of this. Basically, so basically this is the map. And, well, as you may think, this is the places we've been through. Here's the unlockable Chamomile Sigil. And this is where we're gonna meet next episode. So, yeah, this is me, SummerDevil17, signing off. Thank you for watching. Hey, uh, I forgot something. I wanted to show you the effects of risk. So, as you can see, we have 83 risk. And we're gonna fight some bats and see how we're doing. Well... Okay, that was different from. Uh, okay, uh, that isn't the crit I, I got it. Uh, but yes, the bats that used to do one now do 32 damage, and oh, we actually hit him. Usually, we just we just usually miss a lot when we have this high risk. <laughs> but let's see, your bat. Oh, there's the crit we wanted. 76 damage from a bat! Fuck yeah, this mechanic is amazing! Well, it, it actually is. It's pretty cool. It's something completely different from normal. But yeah. Now it's the time for the real wild throw. And... Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, why not subscribe? And leave a like. It would really help me. And... Yeah. This is me, Summer Devil 17, signing off. Bye!